Where's my light? Okay. Um, this <clears throat> this video um, is a um, a rare video. It's a it's kind of random. Um, on my channel from now on, however long I last or survive or whatever, um, I'm gonna just share different stuff on here. So you might see you might see stuff about uh, petroglyphs, ancient writings. Uh, ancient people, ancient art, because that's what I'm into doing. And uh, then every now and then, uh, you'll just see a video of me showing other stuff. Like uh, I like to cook. I was going to be a chef in school. Uh, I founded a uh, a group called uh, the the Food Committee, and um, you know they made me the president of it since I founded it. And we did a lot of great things at my school in Brevard. Um, so it was Brevard High School. In this particular video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make uh, uh, pickled spinach, and uh, it's not, you know, it's not something that I feel like is really common. Of course, you can pickle anything, but uh, pickled spinach tastes pretty good. Uh, it's one of my favorites, and I'm just going to show you real quick in this video, hopefully less than five minutes, how to do it. So, if you like pickles, or if you don't, you take this. Uh, you can either eat all the pickles out of a pickle jar. Doesn't have to be any particular brand. Uh, you probably can't even see which brand this is. But uh, when you have all the pickles out, you've got the brine inside, and uh, that's what you're going to use to pickle your spinach. So basically, what you do, you take the top off, and then you take your spinach can in the other hand, and you dump it into it. Uh, that's what makes it. Right here, I've got a can already open. Uh, I've removed the label off of it because it had an image on it, and uh, I'm not sure exactly what that would uh, be. And in, in, um, um, you know, as far as match third-party content or whatever it is, um, it was. This is the Popeye brand spinach with the cartoon of Popeye on it. I've taken it off. I'm going to bring the camera down to show you something. What you do? Uh, a lot of spinach comes with water in it. So you press down on it and you kind of hold it to the side and you make sure to get all the the water out of it because you don't want the water to water down the uh, the vinegar brine that you want to pickle the spinach in. So you just get all the water out of it you can and drain it off. I've already done that off camera to save time in this video. So that's what I got going on here. I'm going to lift the camera back up so you can see what we're doing. I'm going to put a lot of my recipes on here in the future so you'll be able to see uh, some of the stuff that I made. Uh, I consider myself a freestyle chef and I'm, um, I'm a cook so I don't get paid for it as, in a, as a living but uh, I do love doing it and I make art out of it. So we're going to take the, we're going to take the pickle juice, take the top off, okay, and anybody can do this, it's really fun. Uh, you can teach a kindergarten class to do this, and uh, it's good for them. A lot of people don't like spinach. When they, when it's pickled, it takes a whole different form. The iron that's in it uh, kind of gets uh, uh, dissolved by the vinegar, puts it in a better form, and it's uh, you actually digest more of the iron in there, so it's really good for kids. So this is for you too, kids. Uh, I was a kid once. I uh, didn't like spinach too much. And uh, it's got to be flavored right for you to want to eat some of it. So this is one way of doing that. Take the take the can. I squish the can in my hand like this just a little bit. I squish it and make it to where it's easier to pour into the to the juice. And then we're going to put that in here. Try to see if I can catch that on camera. You can just get it in there any way you can get it in there. I'm using my finger to kind of scoop some of it out. You can use a spoon or a fork, probably more uh, sanitary, but I've washed my hands, so that's what I got going on in this video. So I'm pouring it in. Well, this is really full. I got a I got a big can of spinach from the store. So I got some runoff going off there, some water going off of there. And uh yeah, I'm gonna have to do something with that. Just hold on a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually eat some of the spinach off of here. This was unexpected, so it's gonna go over five minutes.
basically I couldn't fit all the spinach in the can because they for some reason they made it f more full this time it's usually got a whole lot more water in this brand and this time I had a whole lot more spinach in there instead so ended up having to test the product <laughs> right in front of you guys here we go put the can back on it like that just like so wipe my face off so then uh, a piece of spinach right there just shake it up get the uh, to get the pickle brine to go evenly throughout the whole whole can of spinach a jar this is a glass jar it's a glass jar of spinach so you want to do is leave this for about 24 hours that's about as long as it takes to pickle it but you can leave it longer if you want to sink more into it and I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna test it right in front of you by eating some of it just use my fingers to pull some of this out now, I don't I don't like to have a whole lot of the juice in there so I'll just squeeze it out and uh, then I just throw some spinach in my mouth right here like this mm. tastes good already I mean so just leave it in, the, in there for as little as about five or ten minutes it really soaks up that pickle juice and then it tastes really good and that is how you make pickle spinach so that's the video I'm gonna stop it right there and I'll see you again uh, if I'm able to in uh, in my future videos. Thanks for watching. Alright, there you go.